everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have a new release for you. It's 2021 Bowman, and this is the Jumbo Edition. Yesterday we showed you the Hobby Box in the preview video. We also did a long live stream well into the night. I think we ended at 1 a.m. and uh, found some nice cards in there, including a nice $800 maybe? Redemption card of Austin Martin, Chrome Autograph. So that's the main guy we're looking for today, Austin Martin. We'll go over the top 10 rookies in case you missed my preview video for the Bowman Hobby Box. And there's three autographs in this box. So that's the big difference here between the Hobby Box and the Jumbo Box. Besides the cost, obviously, is that you're going to get three autograph cards. So the box might look similar to you, a little bit different. You know, a little bit different than maybe you would expect a jumbo box to look like. I think most of you are probably used to seeing big boxy square type jumbo boxes like Topps has for Topps Chrome. And also their regular issue sets for Series 1, Series 2 and Update. But there's 32 cards per pack. And there's 12 packs per box. And uh, basically the set is the same. Uh, 100 base veterans and rookies. 150 prospects. And uh, we have three autograph cards now. So let's go ahead and get to ripping this. Will is our sponsor. Will, thank you very much for allowing us to open your box on camera in this preview video. We'll be doing a break of this coming up tomorrow, Friday night, probably around like 8.30 p.m. Eastern or somewhere in that area, in that time frame. Hope you can join us for that. We'll be finding lots of autographs. And here it is, a ton of packs. You can see they are look just like the typical jumbo packs that you're used to, 32 cards. And let's go ahead and see what we can find. Three autographs. Here we go. Let's, uh, somebody asked us yesterday, and I forgot to do it, to show you your no purchase necessary along with your odds. So there's all of that information. I'll try to get the best angle. You'll just have to pause it, whatever works out for you. There's the odds. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in this box. It's another busy day on the channel today. We might have three videos for you. There's a Dylan Carlson. I've got this one. I've got a Throwback Thursday box for you of 2006 Fleer Tradition. That'll be a nice one. Kyle Lewis, Max Scherzer. All of our veterans are on top. The inserts are in the middle. There's a nice Alec Bohm. 1991 Bowman design. Bowman Scouts top 100. Nick Gonzalez number 37 on that list. And here are all of our chromes. Right smack dab in the middle of the pack. And we also have Blake Watts and Atomic Refractor right there. Micah Bell, as we get down to the prospects, the prospects will be on the bottom. And unfortunately for Will, no Austin Martin or Blaze Jordan yet. So the top guys, in case you missed it, these are what we're looking for. This is a list sent over to me by, sent over to me by Jeff. Uh, Jeff Becker, who's got a channel as well. Somebody put this set together and Jeff found it. But this is based off first edition, Bowman first edition. So these aren't the actual like Bowman paper prices that you'd get for this. But it's uh, this price is just basically used to rank these guys from 1 to 10. So Martin, Jordan, and Alcantara are the best. Aaron Sabato also pretty darn good up there. So if we find any of those guys in an autograph, you can bet you it's going to be worth probably a couple hundred dollars, especially if it's a parallel. Let's go into pack number two for Will and see what we've got. There's Tristan McKenzie, Ian Anderson, rookie card. Jose Altuve, Bobby Dalbeck, rookie. There's a Christian Pache. Pulled his autograph last night out of 100. A really nice one. There's Joe Adele and Key Brian Hayes, who are typically back-to-back -back in this. And now we get into the good stuff. Dylan Carlson, rookie of the year favorites. And for those of you who like your Chrome cards, here we go. Matt Manning, Nick Bitsko. We've got a Jared Kelly first. Max Meyer pulled his autograph last night as well out of 150. Ishmael Mania. And um, we'll go through the rest of these and see if there's anything else. Christopher Morell, Antonio Gomez. And the last one there is going to be Grayson Rodriguez. So no autograph yet. There will be three autographs. We are breaking this tomorrow by the pack, by the way, since this is such an expensive box. These jumbo boxes cost... Oh, around six dollars $650 to buy them on Steel City Collectibles and Blowout Cards. So since that's a you know pretty big commitment for one box, we are doing it by the pack in our break tomorrow. If you'd like to get a pack, there's still many left. I ordered, I think I have like, uh, I don't know, five cases of this. So a ton of cases to go around. 
And, uh, you know, if we don't sell it, I'll probably just use these and toss them into the Jabs family box, which is uh, coming up very soon. I haven't done one for April yet, and there's only two days left of April, so we've got to put that together. There's Christian Pache, 1991. I'm expecting an autograph soon. Are we going to get one? And no, still looking. There's Jason Dominguez. We found the best Dominguez card we found yesterday was out of $3.99. It was a nice green parallel. No Dominguez autos last night in our, what did we have, like a four-case break last night? May have been in one of the sealed boxes. Some people elected to have their box sealed because, as you know, sealed wax is um, seems to be a pretty good investment, at least from what we've seen in the past year. All right, so three packs down. Nothing crazy. A couple cards in my sleeve pile, but nothing really to write home about yet. Let's see if we can make this box worth it. Anthony Rendon, there's Ryan Mountcastle with the only picture I guess Tops owns the rights to. That picture, the same exact picture seems to be on his Series 1 card as well. Christian Javier is a nice rookie having a good season for the Strohs. Here's our parallels, and it's a Paul Goldschmidt blue. I was hoping that would be an auto. That would be pretty cool. I'm going to wager that most of the autos that we find are going to be the prospects. Probably not going to have very many veteran autos coming out of Bowman as you know, Bowman's Calling card is its uh, focus on prospects and rookies. There's Justin Foscue out of 499 Refractor. Why are we still without an autograph? Four packs in. That just means there's going to be some action coming up very soon. Blaze Jordan first. Bowman, number two best card in the set. We'll get that sleeved up. And that's all for that pack. All right, next pack up for Will. Ryan Velotti on the back. And we may have something here. Let's see. Dalton Varsho, Brady Singer, rookie card. Alec Baum, rookie card. We've got a Nolan Arenado right there. There's Juan Soto. And here's the rest of our base veterans. Bryce Harper getting hit in the face with a 97-mile-an-hour fastball yesterday. It looks like he's going to be okay. Frankie Lindor, I don't know if he's going to be okay, though. Hitting 203, getting booed the other day in New York. And uh, you know what? $300-plus million dollars hitting 203, but the whole Mets team is not hitting right now. I feel so bad for Jacob deGrom. Another one nothing loss on his ledger. Pitched six innings, struck out nine. Actually, tied Nolan Ryan for the all-time strikeout record through, I think it's five starts with 57 or something like that. So deGrom putting up the stats. And I'm sure Ryan had probably more innings pitched because back then they used to throw a lot more than pitchers do today. There's a parallel at the back of this pack, by the way. It is a Ryan Velotti out of $4.99. So we've opened to like half the box and haven't found a single autograph yet, which just means hopefully that we're saving all the stuff for a flurry of activity at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in our sixth pack. There's Kirillov. I sleeve all of his rookie cards. I consider him to be one of the best rookies in this class. Jazz Chisholm is, uh, you know what? He's probably right around the sleeveable part of this uh, break now. Now, the more and more I think about it, Jazz Chisholm looks like he may end up being the rookie of the year. At least he's uh, got a good chance the way he's been playing in April. Cranenworth as well. He's been off to a really nice start. And we have our first autograph. It is Hedbert Perez, first Bowman. It's a chrome auto. And we've found this card, I think, at least once in our break yesterday. I kind of said that's a lazy signature for a good old HP, which is all he writes on his card. It's his first Bowman, though, so, Will, congratulations. We've got one auto out of the way. It took half the box. We've got two more coming. And that's, uh, I guess that's the reason why these cards are so expensive, because instead of paying, I don't know, what do you think's a better deal? There's Kevin Alcantara, of course, the third best prospect, according to our list. What would you rather do? Pay three three fifty for a box of Hobby Bowman and get one auto and go after the parallels of Blaze Jordan and Austin Martin, or double that to like six six fifty and get three autos instead of two. I don't know. It's it's a tough call. It seems that people really like the jumbos. A lot of people are going to try a pack tomorrow night in our break. I hope that you guys get some good cards. Jesus Sanchez. There's Kirillov once again. Jose Garcia. There's Jazz Chisholm once more. There's Casey Mize as well. Jake Cronenworth again. Let's see if we can go on a little bit of a run here with some good stuff. All right. I see a Atomic... Or some people call it Ice Refractor Logan Davidson. And um, 
nothing crazy. Not a lot. Of, I noticed that, look at all these prospects, not a whole ton of first Bowman cards in uh, Bowman this year. At least, it's, I don't know what the numbers are. I guess I should probably do a little more research on that. But it just, on first look, I mean, that whole pack didn't have very many first Bowmans at all, at least at the bottom there with all the paper. There's Dylan Carlson, definitely a one that you want to sleeve up. All right, so we've got one autograph. We're due two more. We've got five packs left if you include this one. And there it is, Nick Gonzalez, which might end up being the best autograph of this box. Nick Gonzalez was a first-round pick by the Buccos. Last year, I think he was eighth overall in the first round. Shortstop, has some power, really good bat tool. And uh, you can see that OPS is crazy, 1765. Nowadays, if you're around like uh, over 1,000, you're a league leader in the big leagues, like 1,000 to 1,100. 1765 is off the charts in college. So if he puts up a 1765 in MLB, he'll be uh, an all-time great. But Barry, that's better than Barry Bonds' numbers right there. But, of course, it's college. I'd be happy with a 900-plus uh, OPS. We've got Eddie Diaz and uh, Hyun Il Choi. So two first Bowmans in that pack amongst the base papers. So we got one more autograph lurking in this box somewhere to go along with the Hedbert Perez and Nick Gonzalez. Let's see who it's going to be. There's Tariq Skubal. Nick Madrigal is a nice one. Garrett Crochet, rookie card. He runs it up there. Whew. 100 plus miles an hour. Nice run there of rookie cards. Joe Adele. Key Brian Hayes. Max Meyer. There's Tatis. And here's our Chromes. And we've got a Shea Langoliers out of 50. Nice gold parallel. And we'll check out the bottom stack. We have yet to find Austin Martin. So I'm hoping I can reverse jinx the box. And now they will give us an Austin Martin. We shall see very soon. Here's our next pack. Austin Martin still missing. We found Blaze Jordan. We found Kevin Alcantara. I don't think we saw Aaron Sabato yet either. We've got three packs left to find those guys. And also one more autograph. There's Mike Trout. Joey Bart. Here's the good stuff. We've got a Joe Adele, Rookie of the Year favorites. And Deshaun Knowles out of 100. Nice atomic refractor. It's his first bone. We actually pulled two of his orange. I think there were two orange out of 25. Autographs of this guy right here. If you look at the back, it tells you he was a free agent signing by the Angels. Uh, last, Not last year, but in 2019, hit 241 in the minors. So I'm not sure. He's, eight, uh, I guess, the 14th best prospect in the Angels system. So I don't know. At uh, best, maybe he's an everyday player. I don't know if he's got star potential or not. But Will's going to, you know, I'd probably hang on to that and see what happens. So that looks to be our third autograph. There's a nice Bobby Witt Jr. out of 125 teal shimmer that is a good one for sure and there he is austin martin finally makes his appearance this is the number one card that you're looking for if you can find an autograph oh i believe all his autos are redemptions but if you can find one of his autos or any of his first bowman or parallels you have hit the jackpot let's go through our last two packs Got um, our break all set up for tonight for Diamond Kings. I hope you can join us for that. 100 boxes of Diamond Kings, and it's one of my favorites. Kind of an underrated set. It's a fun one for sure. Nice, kind of a quick rip, only 12 packs per box, but there's one auto and one relic. I'm really interested to see if they're as balanced as last year. By balanced, I mean they give you like one really crappy auto or relic, and then they balance that with one decent one. All right, we're down to our last pack, so I hope you'll join us tonight. We'll probably be live around 7.30 p.m. Eastern time or so, somewhere in that area. I hope you're subscribed. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Also, like the video. helps these videos out. And there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you tap that, you'll get a notification in the YouTube app whenever we do go live or post a new video. All right, here we go. So this is it. The last pack. Let's see if we get anything crazy in here. There's our Chrome cards, and it looks like we got to hope at best for a nice first Bowman. Adin Soray has pulled a bunch of his autographs last night, probably three or four of them. Pulled Jake Vogel autos as well. Last card is CJ Chatham. So that'll do it for your first look at Bowman Jumbos from 2021. Will, thank you very much for allowing us to open your box on camera. We'll be opening many more boxes during a live stream tomorrow night. 
probably starting around 8.30. So back-to-back -back live streams. We're actually in the midst of three consecutive live streams. We did the Bowman Hobbies last night. We've got Diamond Kings tonight around 7.30 and the Bowman Jumbos tomorrow night. Probably around 8.30 to 9 we'll get started on these bad boys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you can join us in our live stream. If not, I hope you have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.